This is my first digital story. I decided to make it in the manner of a whiteboard story. I guess visual learners will be happy with this. The only problem is I'm really bad at drawing. Anyways, I decided to give it a try. A linguistic profile of my country. Russia is huge. There are nine time zones in Russia. The population is always changing. Now it's about 143 million people. Among them, 116 million are native speakers of Russian. According to this website, there are 105 individual languages in my country. Apart from Russian, people also speak Ukrainian, Belarusian, Avar, Abkhaz, Buryat, Ingush, Kabardian, Karelian, Kami, Chechen, Georgian, Armenian, Tatar, Tajiki, Uzbek, Kazakh, Chukchi, Yakut, Aseni, etc. The official language is, as you can guess, Russian. It doesn't have any specific dialects. If you happen to travel, you can be understood all over the country. However, some people distinguish between a northern and a southern dialect. The northern dialect, spoken in St. Petersburg and other northern cities, is considered to be the more proper Russian. Moscow city, with its population around 13 million people, is famous for its overuse of the ah sound. Since the majority of people speak Russian, other languages do not receive enough attention from the government. A lot of people from ex-Soviet republics come to work in big cities, primarily to Moscow, and thus their languages are often associated with the working class, such as Tajiki language or Uzbek. In my, in my digital story, I decided to focus on the Russian language, and it would have taken all the time allotted just to name all the languages existing in the Russian Federation. I know that some people think that Russian sounds rough, but it's truly amazing and unique. And the reason I think so is its flexibility in terms of morphology and syntax. Since it's an inflective language, it allows you to be very creative. You can play with endings, prefixes, suffixes, and make as many word variations as you can possibly think about. For instance, let's take a word dom, that means a house. These are the variants of this word, domik, danisha, danina. Another example, a Russian female name Dasha. Here you have even more variants. Dasha, Dashinka, Dashuta, Dashula, Daria, Dariushka, Dashka. And those are all referring to the same person. The only difference is its formality. With verbs, it's even better. Let's have a look at the word yechat, that means to go. These are way, ways you can play with this word. Уехать, въехать, заехать, выехать, объехать, доехать, съехать, отъехать. Russian is a Slavic language. It uses its own alphabet, the Cyrillic alphabet. There are 33 letters total. The Cyrillic alphabet is based on the Greek. The trickiest letters are sh and sh. Most learners do not hear any difference between them. Believe me, there is. There are also six different cases, nominative case, genitive case, stated case, accusative case, instrumental case, and prepositional case. Thus, declination is required. Russians also distinguish between U-formal and U-informal. 
word order. Word order is very flexible, as Russian is highly inflected. Thus, you can say, Sasha работает в библиотеке. Работает Саша в библиотеке. В библиотеке работает Саша. Stress is also mobile and doesn't follow strict rules. To learners who complain that Russian is difficult, I always say, be happy that there aren't any tones, as in Chinese and Vietnamese, and we don't write with characters. Thank you. I want to thank Natasha Delil for helping me to make this video.